Hey, so you want to learn how to make some guacamole, huh? Or you know what they say, when life gives you avocados, make guacamole. And you're watching this video, so I'm guessing that means you don't want to make just any old guacamole. You want to make some fire, all natural, plant-based, alkaline, nutritious, delicious guacamole, right? So thank you for tuning in and trusting me with the task of showing you how to do that. So let's get into it, or should I say let's guac and roll, or let's lean with it, guac with it. <laughs> but wait, before we start, I have a question. Like I've been wondering, does anybody else do this? Like when you're making or eating Mexican foods, like do you get the sudden urge to just randomly start speaking Spanish? Like I kind of want to do this whole video in Spanish. Like I want to be on here like, Hola, como esta? Hoy vamos a preparar un rico y delicioso guacamole. Me encanta comida fresca. ¿Y tú? No, just me. Yeah, I'm probably the only one who does that. But if you ever have done that or wanted to do that or thought about doing that, like let me know in the comments, please. Like just tell me I'm not alone. Let me know you are not alone. Somebody, please let me know. I'm not alone with that. <laughs> Alright, let's get started for real this time. Alright, so this is a really simple, easy, quick recipe. And it's so easy and delicious that it just might guac your world. So I'm just going to start with making a just a small batch for this video. And I'm going to be using one avocado. But of course, you can feel free to increase the proportions and the ratios and make more if you want to. And as we know, the main ingredient in guacamole is the avocado. So it's very important that you choose the right avocado. So besides making sure it's at the right level of ripeness, you know, like kind of soft, but still pretty firm, something that's even more important than that is the type of avocado that it is. Make sure you do not, by any means, use Haas avocados. That's the most common avocado in the U.S. and it's most likely the only kind you're going to see when you walk into most grocery stores, unfortunately. But that's the very one you don't want to use because it's a hybrid. It's unnatural. It's man-made. And health as well, so you definitely want to make sure to eat the natural foods and avoid the unnatural man-made stuff. And my family and I weren't able to find the non haas avocado in any of the local grocery stores. And we haven't found like a Latin or international supermarket near us yet. So we just ordered these online. So big shout out to my mom for finding these avocados for us from Fruits and Roots. Fruits and Roots is a website that sells all types of awesome, exotic, tropical, natural, alkaline fruits. And no, they're not sponsoring this video, but they totally should be because that was low-key a commercial for them just now. <laughs> so yeah, we have here our avocado and we also have some organic red onion, cherry tomatoes, and over here I have my seasonings, which is some onion powder mixed with some um, ginger. And that's pretty much going to serve as an alkaline alternative to garlic because garlic is unnatural and therefore super acidic and causes adverse issues in the body. So you're not going to see me using garlic in any of my videos. I'll just be imitating like a garlicky type of flavor sometimes. And we also have some Himalayan pink salt in here, some cumin to add a little special flavor element. And I was born in Nola, baby, so you know I gotta have a little spice in there too. So I'm just gonna use some African bird pepper and some red pepper flakes for a little alkaline kick. But you could also use like some um, chopped fresh jalapenos if you wanted to do that instead. And I'm also gonna be squeezing the juice from one key lime. And specifically we wanna use key limes, not the big regular lime and definitely not lemon. The key is to use key lime. That's the key. Key limes with seeds. Because key limes, that's the natural lime. And anytime you have a fruit or whatever, you just want to make sure that there's seeds in it, no matter what the fruit is. And last but not least, we have some cilantro. So everything is already washed and chopped up and ready, except I haven't cut the avocado yet because I don't want it to turn brown. 
So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna slice it in half lengthwise. So just get the knife all around there. And there is a big pit in the middle, so I'm not gonna be able to get all the way through, but I'm just gonna go all the way around and work my knife around. So then once I do that, I can just twist and separate. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do, just twist and separate, and we have our two avocado pieces, our two avocado halves, and we're ready to just scoop out the content so before I do that I'm going to get the pit out of here of course and preferably I'll be able to get this pit out of here easily but if I don't that would be pitiful so the method that I use is just like just whack at the seed <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that but I whack at the seed and then just twist it out and it usually just comes on out but right now I'm struggling so yeah as I thought pitiful just like I predicted just straight pitiful but yeah I'm just gonna scoop it out with a spoon that's the second method so I'm gonna do that right now just scoop the pit out with a spoon that'll work too so let me do that and then we'll come back all right so I've got my avocado all scooped up out of the skin and I decided to just use half of the avocado since that was a pretty big one and I think only half would comfortably fit in this bowl. So I've got my avocado in here and I've got my other ingredients in here. The seasonings, the fresh cilantro and the red onion. I haven't put the lime in or the tomato yet, but right now I'm gonna add the lime juice. So I'm gonna do half of the key lime, the juice from half of a key lime. Just gonna squeeze that on in here. I probably could use the whole thing because this, even though key limes are already small, this one was like extra small. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put the whole thing in there because why not? All right, so got that all together. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and mash it up in here with my mortar and pestle just smashing a little bit and you could also do this with um just a regular bowl and a fork but if you happen to have a mortar and pestle like i do then of course use that but a bowl with a fork would totally get the job done just as well so i'm just going to smash this a little bit i don't want to completely mash it up because i do want it to be a little bit chunky I don't want it to be complete mush so um, now I'm just gonna add some tomato in here add a couple spoons a few spoons of the tomato our cherry tomato and we're adding it now at this point because if I would have added it earlier when I was smashing it down with the mortar and pestle um, motion, then it probably would have gotten just too smashed and we would have ended up possibly with some watery guacamole and we do not want that. We want it to be a little chunky. So now that that's all in there, we're gonna go ahead and just mix it with a spoon at this point. We're not really smashing the stuff anymore we're just mixing it around just to make sure it's all mixed in together because we don't want to end up with um avocado soup or avocado puree or avocado baby food we're we're doing some nice chunky guacamole so just make sure everything is all incorporated well together All right, so once everything is all mixed together, it's ready, it's done. It was that easy. So, bon appetit, or in Espanol, buen provecho. <laughs> all right.
right, so did you have a good time watching this video and learning how to make alkaline guacamole with me? If you did, then leave a like and a comment and share this video too. And might as well go ahead and subscribe too while you're at it. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. I got things to do and by things to do, I mean uh, I got guacamole to devour, so I gotta go. Thanks again for watching. See y'all later. I love you to the hood, never switch. Chamber full of love.